What is going on, everybody? Bobby Fathom and Eric Sheets Haber. We're going to be talking through tonight's uh, very small baseball slate, but we're, you know, we're, we're on a little bit of a hot streak. Sheets won the, the showdown yesterday. I uh, saw the showdown, the single entry in the in the early morning slate and said what he was going to do right on air, you know, stacking that that Cincinnati side of things, too. And uh, it worked out beautifully. And I, uh, I, you know, we have other uh, canine Bronco won the single entry. Like a bunch of other people told me they I, I posted my early builds for the NBA and I ended up uh, tying for first uh, in the uh, in the big one on, on for the alley oop. So that was that was really nice. And other people seem to make money off of it as well. So um, happy to hear that. And I want, want to remind you guys to check out that stuff on True DFS. We do have post everything. Um, I post, you know, all my early builds, all my core plays and all my bets of the day, which the bets have been just absolutely ludicrously on fire. Like, I mean, yeah. it's, we're, we're talking like 80, it's, I think it's at 86%. I have to double check, but I think it's, that's what I'm at now for the playoffs, which I mean, and, and I'm including the, the point spreads now because I wanted to get some more bets out there. So uh, a couple of my friends are very, very grateful. And uh, hopefully you guys can join on in that as well. With that said, Sheets, let's talk about this slate. We're going to talk FanDuel first because it is a bigger slate on FanDuel tonight than it is on, on DraftKings. So um, not but, only that, not only that, but as I pull up my um, pull up my screen here, we're going to get right to this first game. And then we're, we're now we're, we're right in my wheelhouse because – you know, the one game that is on the FanDuel slate, which is not on the DraftKings slate, is exactly the game I want to attack. Um, so, you know, as, as, as he mentioned, as Bobby mentioned, you know, we, we, I, I won with basically the Cincinnati scoring 74,000 runs yesterday. And you know what that means. Those of you who are following me, Brubaker is going to be my pitcher today um, <laughs> on FanDuel um, against Cincinnati. And uh, – that's pretty much guaranteed. If, if I play it all um, and I play the big one, he will be my pitcher and he will be the, my highest owned pitcher. And it's just the way it's going to have to be. Yeah. Um, um, you know, we'll, we'll, listen, we could, we could look at it from a whole slate perspective. Obviously, you know, Cease is going to probably project, but he's against the Yankees, right? What's so, what's so, I don't know. What's so, what's so great about that. Right. Um, so uh, Brubaker is going to be the guy I play. Um, and the other side of this game, uh, I don't think I'm going to, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're supposed to play Overton also. I mean, yeah, I mean, I've Overton is, I have him worse now. I'll, I'll, I'll I probably am not going to play him on him. Are we sure that Zach Wheeler is out? I know that it says out on the draft. It says undisclosed, out undisclosed. And, and I just, it's just weird because I've still, like, I'm looking at other sites. Says, he's, yeah, wait a minute. It says it's scheduled to return from the COVID list to start Thursday's opener. Yeah. I, I, that was from and, yesterday. Mm. Oh, that's today. Yeah, no, that, that, that note was from the 11th, I think. Oh, right, right. But, but I, I just, I don't have any confirmation yet. So it does sort of change the slate a little bit. Um, and I don't have another, another possible pitcher. Like, the weird part is he was, I think Wheeler was actually going to be the most popular pitcher on. Yeah. Wait a minute. Why is, why, why? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to presume he's in. What do you think about that? That's it. Yeah, for right now I in. would. And, yeah. and it makes me more excited about stacking the Dodgers. Yeah. Because... And it makes me more happy to play Brubaker. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So, there, <laughs> so let, 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 let people try to let, let, let people try to play pitchers against the Dodgers and the Yankees. Right. And I'll go play against the Reds, who who just basically just had the <laughs> outlier of outlier performances yesterday. Right, right. Um, speak, but in that game, by the way, and, and I think it sort of goes hand in hand, something you like to do. It, it, it's always nice if you can get a pitcher on a, a stack that you like. And I actually, you know, I like, I mean, they're going to be owned. And it's going to be hard to find anybody who's unowned. But I, I like the Pittsburgh stack today. Um, okay. Cincinnati probably, I mean, when a team is this bad, you know that their bullpen is this bad. And the matchup is good enough as it is against Overton. Um, let's go right, 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 right to uh, to Pittsburgh here. I feel like it's a good spot. They don't have to face Dodger pitching, and they actually took two out of three from by far the best team in baseball. You know, you know what they had got? You know what it had been the Pirates and Dodgers going into that series? The Dodgers had won twenty four of the last twenty five meetings in baseball. That like never, ever, ever, ever. That's, happened. that's ridiculous. And it's like literally like no, and that's and they don't play. They only play whatever nine times a year. So that's over the course of three years. But it's like it's just wild to me. Um, but yeah, I, th I think Pittsburgh is a very viable. Here, I guess we'll we'll go game by game here. I'm, I'm sort of jumping yeah. around, um, but I, I do think the Pittsburgh and uh, Cincinnati game. I agree with you that Brubaker is in play and. 
I, I think that's a really interesting low owned um, option, depending on, you know, we'll see how low owned it ends up, but he just put up 36 fantasy points on FanDuel on the end of this team. He struck out nine guys in five innings. And sometimes on a, on a you know, when you have two back-to-back games against the same team. I always like to usually favor the hitters, but this is a spot where I have no problem just playing Brew Baker. And I think that's actually a really good call. And I think it's going to be unusual. So I, uh, I'm high. I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Uh, and I, and I like the Pittsburgh stack specifically guys like Reynolds, uh, Hayes and Vogelbach, uh, would be my favorites. It is, uh, you know, you could include Ben Gamble into the mix. You don't really need these savings on FanDuel, but I do like the, the, the Hayes Vogelbach, uh, Reynolds as my favorite. You, what do you think about the Pittsburgh side of the hitting? Um, yeah, I have them, um, up there, but not my favorite, mm-hmm. but I definitely have them in the top half, uh, you know, given there are eight teams to play. <laughs> definitely have them in the top half, um, but I don't have them as my favorite. Yeah. No. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's jump over to, to KC, Texas. Uh, still don't have an official starter for for uh, KC, so I'm not sure what to do with that. I can't – if when there's no starter, it's it, – you know what that means. That, that, it literally <laughs> – we it, 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 it can't be anybody very good because they don't have any. I have, I have Heasley starting – possible okay i think i i just i I'm, I'm always speculative on those situations um personally but that's i think that's that's reasonable to uh it, it, it basically doesn't matter what we what we think because it probably ends up somewhat of a bullpen game which is what casey sort of does every game now it was really really was a cool thing when they were winning the the titles and everything like that um or or you know in, in the world series a few, a few years back but uh that, that's sort of like what they become. They just don't have guys who are, who are good, who can go deep into games. And uh, I easily has never pitched in the major leagues. I believe I'm not hundred percent sure, but I, I don't have any history of him uh, anywhere. So uh, Texas is certainly going to make sense. Basically whoever they do throw out there, if the roof is open, even a bigger bump to Texas, again, you're not getting especially different by playing Texas here. Um, I would say that, you know, one of the, one way you could do it is like Jonah Heim, who will be popular on actually he might, he should, probably should be popular on family. He's 2.5 Jonah Heim and Cole Calhoun. But because people are going to have money to spend, I don't think they're going to want to spend down. I think you might want to leave some money on the table tonight is sort of my initial look. And then on the KC side, I do like, uh, I, I like a little bit of the KC stack, depending on who actually ends up playing. I, one of the few things I did right last night uh, was, I actually had a Whit Merrifield one-off at, at that. We, talk, we talked about that. We yeah, talked about and, that. and he yeah. finally came through with his home run. Yeah. So uh, that, that one actually did help uh, some of my secondary lineups uh, at least get, you know, get into the cashing. But I, I think both these teams are viable. I, I happen to think Hearn is like, I just think he's a hit or miss pitcher. Like, I think, I think he's got more talent than people probably realize and he's starting to realize it, but it's, it's, you know, it's, He's, he's solid. I don't think the, he's not solid. He's, he's okay. Considering the nature of the slate. I don't think he's a guy who I'm going out of my way to pick on, but I certainly like the, uh, the Salvador Perez, the Whit Merrifield and Bobby Witts. Those would be the guys I play. Yeah, Bobby Witts very fast. And he can hit too. Yeah. Um, do you, what, what do you have in this, in this game? Any interest? Yeah, I have, I have Texas as a chalky option. You know what I mean? Uh, definitely up there as far as, uh, you know, on, on FanDuel, um, I, I like Texas probably just on raw, whatever, maybe the second best, but they're going to, they're going to get owned. I would, um, I'm probably going to go elsewhere um, mm-hmm. than that, but they're certainly going to rate to be okay. And again, I don't like to, I don't like to play bullpen games in general, but these yeah. guys are all so cheap. You know what I mean? Um, uh, what's Seager 3,200 or something like that. Yeah. That's just, I mean, uh, just kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah, I think I think they're totally viable. Would you? What? Where? Where are you? Uh, we can go back and forth. What, what do you like about them? These teams on DraftKings. Do you like either of them on DraftKings? Yeah. So I, I think that it's going to be basically similar for me, and because price is really not a thing today, so I, I don't mind leaving right. money on the table. And by the way, every dollar you leave on the table, you're just you're just creating an extra amount of uniqueness. Extra, every extra hundred. I think that the one that that we had, and and I didn't make the nuts last night in the NBA, but but for example, in a similar type of situation. Um, my, my brain sort of got lost there, but um, you, you, you know, you, you can leave, you, we all left a few, I think it was like 400 on the table in that same lineup. And 
but this is a, a slate where you can you can leave money on the table and it's and it's really any amount of money is fine i i, I don't yeah. think you should be trying to leave like three thousand if you're if you know like that but it also would be okay to do on this you, yeah, that's what i'm saying well, you shouldn't be trying to but if you get there i would live yep. i would leave it <laughs> yeah yeah absolutely I, i'm with you uh the, you do have you do have two good offenses here today that are going to be if this pitching holds up going to be lower on than you'd think I mean, would you, what would you say? Like, I don't care who's on the mound. You could put anybody out there. If you give me the Yankees on a four game slate with only a 3.6 run total and no player early in early projections, it doesn't mean it's going to end up this way. No, no player early projected over 9%. Um, you just have to try. Like you have to try it. You I think you have, have to, to, right? Yeah. I'm yeah, on I'm that. Not. I'm on that same page. And, and I, and I'm a big C guy. Like I think he's really good. Um, but nobody is unhittable completely. And, and this Yankee, you know, the Yankees have power They're If you're not pitching C's, I think that Yankees are very, very viable. And I think you're going to get some ownership on, again, along with every other team, you're going to have some ownership with the White Sox. Yep. And um, I'm just blah. I'm just meh on that one. I, I, I totally understand it. I, I think that, you know, I'm just trying to look at positions. I think that Abreu, because of there being some other good first baseman options on the slate, it's sort of the early, the early slate and he's also been struggling like that it has him very low owned i don't know if that's going to be the case because I, what i was going to say is if you do it you can play gavin sheets as a part of your stack or you can just play gavin sheets as a one-off as a way to get different uh the guy's got immense power and he's probably going to strike out four times but if he doesn't uh he's you know he's hit home runs back-to-back days the guy he's just got a lot he's just got a lot of power so i i would uh i would lean towards gavin sheets at, at potentially low ownership what do you think about this game? And then- yeah, I honestly, I, I think the, that the White House look 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 pretty good, but I think that the um, that the uh, that the Yankees are probably, if not my favorite, they might be my favorite kind of stack on a slate like this. Um, yep. They might maybe tied for tied for first, but we'll 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 get to that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm especially if you're going to get. Well, I'll tell you this: if somehow Wheeler is not pitching. Then I'm the chalk. Then, then, then you, then you pile on the Yankees, you know I mean? like right? right? Um, because then, like, for those of you who aren't following, then because then Cease will be like huge chalk, and you get just so much even more leverage to, to play the Yankees. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I do like that. Um, and uh, Cease, yeah, he's, looks, looks, looks good to me. You know what I mean? He's just gonna, mm-hmm. he's just gonna get owned a lot. That's all. Um, what about on? Um, on DraftKings, he's pitching. I mean, again, it's, it's the same thing for me, really, on DraftKings. I, I, I think that both these guys, I think Cease and uh, and what's his name? And, yeah. and, and Wheeler, you know, are going to rate to be the best plays. But I'll tell you, you know, like we, we, we glossed over for a second, but I, I would I might take a shot at something like Taylor Hearn. You know what I mean? Just, just to just to do something different. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I'm not. I'm not playing Cease and Wheeler. You know what I mean? I, what, what? How do you? How can you even? You know? How can you even do that? Um, right. <laughs> so that's 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 my thought. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. Ten, I'm pretty much in. You know, locked up with you on this. Uh, um, and that's going to transition me into the next one because I am going to be all over the Dodgers if Wheeler pitches, and I don't believe the projections. Um, there is no way I, I, on this slate. There's no way all the Dodgers end up less than 10% owned. They still have this. What do they have? The second highest run total on the slate or the third highest run total on the slate on FanDuel, the second highest on DraftKings. Uh, they're in the, them and the White Sox are really close. Um, this is the best offense in baseball in general to stack. And look, people go, Oh, but they only scored three. Run. They're going to have bad days. And also on their getaway days when Mookie's not playing and they don't play all their, their, their a game guys. Uh, you're going to, you're going to get some funny Dodger lineups. You know, they were, they were giving guys some, some guys a break yesterday. Um, but when they're, when they're, when they're back at home and, and, and they had their day of travel and I expect everybody to play tonight. So I, uh, I will be all over the Dodgers against Wheeler and it means I'm going to probably have to start on FanDuel, probably your Brubaker or, or, or Hearn. Um, and it means that I'm, or I'm going to have to start Tyler Anderson, which I feel totally fine doing. I think both these teams that I think that the Phillies are in play as well. I, I just on the, cause the slate size. And I actually think that's going to be a low owned option that, that you might want to look into. But for me, I'm going to rate my usage of stacks. I'm not saying these are the best stacks, but my, the way I'm going to use the stacks I on FanDuel, it will be Dodgers one, uh, Texas, uh, I'm sorry, Pittsburgh two, 
New York three, Texas four, White Sox five. But again, those other those three through five are all basically I have very close. I just want to get some exposure to the Yankees because for the reasons we mentioned. Um, and then I don't think I want to stack against Anderson, but I don't mind using a few bats. Rio Muto on FanDuel might be a little bit lower on because they don't people don't play catchers as much as a lot of first base options today. Um, Hoskins is also the same position. You can play those two together. That, that you, guarantees you a, a unique build, a uh, unique ish build. Um, so I, 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 I like it. I like it in that order. And on DraftKings, I have it as the Dodgers one. Um, I will be probably getting my White Sox exposure a little more over there because I don't have the Pittsburgh option, but I want to incorporate some Yankees and, you know, both sides of the Texas KC game. But mostly I, I'm probably looking at a night where I'm doing a 3 3 2 or a 4 2 2. None of these offenses, except for Texas, do I feel really worried about going completely nuclear and it's Texas. So I shouldn't have to worry that much. I th- I'd like, um, again, I'm trying to torn between which I like more between the Dodgers and the Yankees. I like them both for very similar reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like them both. And I have to, I'll throw in my two cents. I do actually like the Phillies as well. Um, mm-hmm. um, so you know, the Phillies will be owned more than both the Yankees and the Dodgers, I imagine. Yep. Um, even even if the Dodgers are not exactly as low owned as, as we believe, I still think the Phillies will probably just because, you know, they have the, the Tyler Anderson is not as good as Aaron Nola, right? That's that's so people are going to play. Zach Wheeler, yeah. Um, as, sorry, as, as Zach Wheeler, same thing, yeah. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. No, right, um, it's not a bad point. Right. So, so um, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think that's what I'm probably going to end up doing. I'll probably play on FanDuel. You know, you play Brubaker, then I can play whoever I want so I can overpay for all these Yankees and Dodgers if I feel like it. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. And uh, it's probably not the worst idea in the world. <laughs> so, no, so I think it, I think it's actually a really logical idea on these kind of slates. And I, yeah. I just want to, again, emphasize that it, I like some correlation, but I again, three, three, twos, three, yeah. two, two, one, even if you want to do that. I, it's it's a, it's that kind of a slate where I'm not expecting you know huge 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 performances and if there were if there was going to be one, I actually still think the Dodgers have as good a chance as anybody to be that team. Yeah. Um, so I, I and I, and the way they get there too, Wheeler allows stolen bases, so you want to play a little bit of Mookie, a little bit of Trey Turner, it just makes a lot of sense. So what are the uh, what are the bullpens like like the Phillies and and the White Sox for example? Uh, both, both can, Phillies. I, I am a little skeptical that they're that they're as good as maybe you know what what the numbers might say. Well, they have a reputation for being good, but no, but, no, no, not especially. But just like uh, everybody, whenever this comes up, and I, it always starts a, hor- a horrible conversation of things that I just get so tired of because people will just go, "Well, wait a minute," but this bullpen is doing better. And I'm like, it's a month into the season. We have some. Yes, we have more we can go on, but we don't have everything we can go on. But the White okay. Sox do have a solid bullpen. Um, they were the White Sox were probably the third best bullpen last year in baseball. So, um, for what that for what it's worth, behind Tampa and and uh, and San Diego. But anyway, yeah. So that's that's sort of the slate, and I will be live with you guys at I guess it's going to be five thirty Eastern today, right? Um, yeah, because for the you should for probably the- well the, the, the DraftKings is not till later, right? So you should probably go at like six. You know what I mean? But if I do the six, then I can't. Yeah, I'll just have my builds finished by then. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'll do, I'll do six. That's a good point. Yeah. So six Eastern, we will be live with you guys, um, or I'll be live with you guys, and we will also talk some NBA because it is it's it's been really really good. I mean, I, I, yesterday was great. Obviously, winning the alley oop, uh, time for winning the alley oop, um, and with my old my old nemesis, who's also Sheets' friend, the guy I just for some reason couldn't seem to run good in, in po- against poker in poker for for whatever reason. And also, he's a really he's he's very good um but uh uh, you know matt uh it's matt smith um anyway but uh but it's been a great it's been a great overall run for for the playoffs for me even though there was a really rough period where i went probably 10 slates in a row without making any money back from investment right yeah uh, it's all gotten into the it's all it's all we're all on the right side of it now so it's hashtag baseball you know (laughs) yeah exactly um all right sheets anything else before we get out of here no all good All right. Good luck to everybody tonight and uh, we'll see you at six Eastern.